If you're a geologist and you're looking for a way to take quick and dirty magnetic susceptibility measurements without having to carry a meter that weighs half a kilo and looks like someone's sex toy, then this is the video for you. I'm Nick Tate and this is another video in the series of Fieldcraft for Geologists. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the detail on each video, go to the link below in the description. It'll only cost you a few bucks and once you're signed up you'll get all the videos that are already there plus anything new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field. The pencil magnet has always been an essential part of a geologist's field kit. I use it by lowering it onto the rock with the tip of my finger. If there's nothing at all like this then you can be sure that rock is something under 500 SI units by 10 to the minus 5 somewhere between 100 and 200 units. If you get a weak response like this, it's somewhere between 500 and 1,000 SI units by 10 to the minus five. 900, 800, 750, something about that. If you get a strong response like that, then it's somewhere between 1,000 and 10,000 units. 5,000, 6,000. If it really grabs the magnet and it's strong enough to pull it off your finger, then it's over 10,000 units. Pure magnetite will be 60 or 70,000 units. 18,000 something. 20,000 on a good day. So there you have it. It's a little bit less accurate, but it gets the job done. It's a whole lot easier and you can leave the toys for the boys and girls in the core shed.